Well, here we are at Broadstairs Station on a cold September day, about to walk down and see what we find. We go down towards the seafront, so let's go. This, I believe, is Broadstairs High Street, past the salt of the earth. Positive and kind space focused on uniting community. There you go, and there's a wellness spa there. It's all happening here, isn't it? And of course, um, being Broadstairs, there's lots of places to get your financial planning done. And here, and here we have Broadstairs Metalcraft. It looks very exciting, Ronnie and Reggie. Fantastic things here. Never seen that before. First, makes change for financial planning, doesn't it? Yes, indeed it does. I hope you could hear me, by the way. That's Houdini's magic bar there. I don't believe he's the actual Houdini himself, who died quite a long time ago. I think he was hit in the stomach, wasn't he, when he was not prepared. But it's um, a magic bar, because I know that the guy in there does that magic. It's multi-award winning. Micro pub. Mind the Gap, Amber Palace Indian Restaurant, which caused a bit of controversy recently, but I won't go into that. Behind me there's somebody shouting, so that's um, something that you get a lot in Thanet. That's really shouting the phone or shouting to somebody, that's just shouting to the world in general. Greek restaurant, traditional Greek restaurant, as opposed to a modern one of course. Oh, gelato, donuts, Mr. Lemon Heads, that looks good to me. Insurance, more financial planning. Betting you're going to die, which I think you might be. Don't take it from me though, I'm not an expert. Denture clinic, while you wait, and so if you have a nasty dental accident, step in there and you can have it sorted out while you wait. Always useful, I wonder how much that's going to cost though. Because that's the thing about Broadstairs, I, I believe there's not a National Health Service dentist in Broadstairs. Somebody told me that. But I know that all the ones you see advertising are actually private and uh, saying how cheap they are, which I think is still going to be quite expensive. And now we're passing Pierpont Park, and that's Pierpont Hall, which you can't really see behind the trees. And then we're going to the co op, which is. Um, I've been here a few times to buy things. It's very good for breakfasts and sandwiches and that sort of thing. When I say breakfast, I mean stuff for breakfast. And down there we can see the sea. Yes, well, it is Broadstairs, isn't it? Apparently Broadstairs and St. Peter's is twinned with... Can't quite see because it's behind that car. Oh, I don't know how to pronounce that, so I'll gloss over that. Potting shed. A dental clinic. Seems to be very popular here. Central Cars, Thanet Cat Club. We won't make any jokes about that. No. Okay, it's banned from YouTube. We don't want to be banned series or anything like that. Regain Hearing. I thought that was Reagan Hearing, like an Inspector Reagan in the Sweeney, but it's Regain Hearing. Some roadworks here. That's the finest traditional fish and chips. Reduce, closing down sale. I know they want to turn that into some kind of um, multi space, a multi use space because there was a post about it on Facebook, I noticed. That's a car park, the toilets, if I have children use the toilets, I tend to go there. But I don't, so I won't. Cash paid for gold, watch batteries from five pounds. Only if they're buying watch batteries, but I don't think so. I think they're selling watch batteries, but buying gold. Very confusing sign. This is a very interesting shop, isn't it? Pilgrim's Hospice, which is a hospice near the hospital in Margate. There's another dental group. NHS though, oh. See, that's um, confounded what I said earlier. Broadstairs is very old. It's been around for, well, it wasn't called Broadstairs because apparently it was Bradstow, which is the fishing village that's been here since before the Norman Conquest. And Broadstairs comes from some stairs down to the beach or the sea. I'll put the dates on the screen. Across the road you can see the greengrocers. All the greengrocers in Nathanit are called Prentice, but they're not all the same people. I think it's the same family, but they've all 
split up, I'm not sure even they're in Tokyo, each other now. They do look similar, the people in there, but I believe they're cousins or something like that. So, see, you get all the inside news about green grocers here, let me tell you. Boots and Tesco, about to pass now. That looks very right, isn't it? Down there, serene place. There's a history name, Trotwood Place, which I think is probably a made up name because a lot of the things in Broadstairs hit on the fact that Charles Dickens lived here. So everything is like Dickens Base, whether it is or not. Where he lived, they renamed it Bleak House even though it wasn't called that when he lived there. I think he came here for his holidays, I think. I don't think he actually permanently stayed here. And here we are, we're now down towards the sea. This is Viking Bay. And over there is what they now call Bleak House, though it wasn't called Bleak House then. Here's something like Fort House or something like that. There's a kiosk there. I think it's nearly October, it's closed. I don't know if you can see the wind farm out there. That source of much revenue I think at the moment with the energy prices what they are. This is Viking Bay and the beach, we'll look at the beach. Yeah. This is the promenade and you can hear the sea. It's very picturesque down there isn't it and you've got the beach huts down there, very multi-coloured and the jetty. And the beach is in the. If this was August, this would be packed and there'd be Punch and Judy man down there and all kinds of things. But because it's nearly October, it's. I think there's one, two people on the beach, somebody walking and somebody sitting who may be connected to the person walking, I think. That is towards Ramsgate, that way. That's um, somebody with their beach stuff, you know, I think. If you walk that way, around the bend and all that, you end up at Margate, which I wouldn't recommend. Also, you end up at. Which is the other bay? I think I forgot what the name of the next bay is. Which is the famous one. You've seen all the pictures with the big chalk cliff carved out, with the wind has carved the chalk, and I put the name of it. But we will no doubt go walk there one day if I survive these things. And we can hear the people doing this scaffolding on the Charles Dickens boat. Strange it was called the Charles Dickens. Here is the Morelli's ice cream parlour. The company started in 1907 on the back of a bike selling ice cream, and this ice cream parlour opened in 1932. Since then, they've had um, branches in Harrods, Selfridges, and all over the place, including Dubai. Well, here we are inside Morelli's, and I bought myself a strawberry milkshake, which is um, bursting with ice cream. And I'm not sure I've seen strawberries go in there, but I'm sure that they're in there somewhere. And this is what it looks like. There's a jukebox there, so it's making a bit of a noise. So I'll let you know what this tastes like, if you like. Is that capturing me? Probably not. It's very thick, I can hardly get my um, straw in there. Very creamy, very creamy. And very nice. 